one of us is unlimited. Designer eyewear of all shapes and sizes. But to see clearly is a choice many don't have. A billion people need glasses, according to the World Health Organization. In developing countries, many rely on charities or visiting eye care clinics like this one. Others spend much of their lives unnecessarily handicapped by blurred vision. Relief comes in the unlikely guise of a retired Oxford physics professor, Joshua Silver. He's come up with a groundbreaking concept. What we have shown is that you can in fact make high quality prescription spectacles which give good vision correction and you can do that yourself. And that, I believe, is somewhat revolutionary. A revolutionary do-it-yourself eye test, which can be done in Professor Silver's English country garden or an African village. In minutes you can have a personalized pair of prescription glasses. Focus is found by filling the lens with varying amounts of fluid, which is released slowly as you twist the syringe knobs that are temporarily attached to the frame. In this case, seeing is believing. From the garden to the kitchen table, anybody can be their own optometrist. Okay, it's very blurry, that's for sure, so I'm not really seeing much. Okay, so now it's coming slowly into focus. And just change it until it's about right. And when it looks sharp, just stop. Okay. So now just repeat the process with the other eye. Okay. So cover that one up. Cover this one up. And that's just as blurry on the left eye. Now just use both eyes. Okay. It's amazingly Is it clear? clear, yeah. It's very, very sharp. Is it about as clear as your own spectacles? What sort of look at it? I would guess that it would be about the same. It is. Yep. The home eye test turns out to be as accurate as a trip to the optician. I get the same prescription as my spectacles and contact lenses. You have found your prescription. You have found it to the accuracy that uh, it would have been measured by an optician. Simple and accurate, but with one slight problem. They are functional. They, um, some people like the look. <laughs> and, and of course, you're not going to wear them like that. No. So the next step is you, you basically um, you take them. If I pop these on, they, these are not. These will not be set to your vision, but you will end up. In fact, they should probably be. So you'd snip off if yeah, once you, you've you seal up the lenses and you chop these off, and then you end up with a with pair of specs that looks like that. Oh, well, they don't look. Okay. They, they look rather nice, I think. So do you think I could appear on television like this? Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, so some of us might be spectacle snobs, but Professor Silver promises the frames will get lighter and smaller. They're a fashion statement. They are, they are a statement. I don't know whether they're, yeah, they're a fashion statement. For now, though, his prototype is ready for bulk delivery to global markets. What we've done is to take this new technology and take it into mass production in China, where we have a production line capable of making some thousands a day. There is significant interest and requests to supply from um, India, from South Africa, um, from Argentina, and from East Africa, as well as West Africa, where we're already actually, uh, uh, today as we speak, a production batch is being sent from China to Ghana. The Ghanaians buying 46,000 pairs of glasses from Adaptive Eye Care, a company set up by Professor Silver to distribute his invention. The first production batches of, of adaptive spectacles are going to the Ghana Ministry of Education to the National Functional Literacy Programme, uh, which is a, an enormous nationwide adult literacy programme where approximately 50% of the people who are learning to become literate need spectacles just to, to, fun to be able to read the textbook to see the blackboard. Daily tasks made possible with DIY spectacles. Our field studies showed that about 80% of a population, if they um, were to use our spectacles, would be able to pass a driving vision test. A similar percentage would be able to correct themselves well enough to read.
With statistics like that coming out of four years of field studies, the potential impact of Professor Silver's glasses on lives of millions of people in developing countries is staggering. Taking the burden off the medical profession to provide eye care for those in remote or poor areas. If enough bulk orders come in, Adaptive Eye Care plans to sell clear vision for as little as the average weekly wage in a developing country. An amount that will be calculated on a case-by-case -case basis. Technology that's looking to change the way millions see the world. Robin Kerno, CNN, Oxford, England.